This is Chris with Ayo's like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Curse, and subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ayo's, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and I'll be down there in the description box, and I'm here to do my WWE Friday Night Smackdown, July 29th, 2022 reviews, so here we go, discussing about tonight's episode of Friday Night Smackdown, now we kick off with the first match of the night, it was Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus in a number one contenders match. Uh, which this match was a Donning Brook match. Uh, where well, this is pretty much like a no disqualification match, pretty much. Uh, I'll get into details about it. So yeah, uh, whoever wins this match faces um, whoever is the undisputed uh, Universal Champion at Clash of the Castle. So yeah, that's what this match is all about. And yeah, let's get go ahead and talk about the Donnie Brook match now. What this match is, of course, you can use anything. Still chairs, tables, all that stuff. But you got shillelaghs and stuff from, like, Ireland and Scotland and all that. Which was, like, big-ass barrels. Portraits of Seamus' grandparents for some reason. Stuff like that. And bars, I guess. So, yeah, that's what it pretty much was. So, we get into this match. It was a pretty good match. I'm not even going to lie. It was a really good match between these two guys. Uh, every time uh, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus gets in the ring, they always throw in a great match. Uh, Drew McIntyre, when he was coming out, Sheamus attacked him from behind. That's when the match started. Um, and there was a few times I thought one uh, Sheamus was going to win or McIntyre was going to win. At one point, we see McIntyre hit the Future Shock DDT on a Sheamus on a pile of steel chairs. And Sheamus barely kicked out a two. And then one point, uh, McIntyre was lifting up Sheamus, but then he gets hit in the back with a shillelagh by Reg Holland. And then Sheamus hits that knee to the face, pins him. McIntyre kicked out two again. Then McIntyre starts fighting back, starts going at the Ridge Holland, and hits a belly to belly suplex onto Ridge Holland through a table outside of the ring that was set up uh, over the barricade and stuff, which was pretty nice. So it took out Ridge Holland for the rest of the match. And then they kept on going at it in the match. And at one point, we see Butch jump off these uh, barrels and stuff onto Drew McIntyre with a crossbody. So yeah, he appeared and he was beating down McIntyre. And then uh, at one point, we actually see Sheamus uh, throw McIntyre back into the ring. Uh, they kept on going at it. And then McIntyre starts fighting back, beating down Butch and stuff. And then he was setting up for the Claymore onto uh, Sheamus, but Sheamus. Moved that way, and uh, Butch got in, in the way pretty much, and Butch got hit with the Claymore instead. But then as soon as uh, McIntyre hit the Claymore onto Red Ch onto Butch, uh, Sheamus hits the bro kick onto McIntyre, pins him. Uh, McIntyre kicked out at two again after that. But then McIntyre starts coming back a little bit, uh, and then he hits a uh, power bomb onto Sheamus through a table. And then he was setting up for uh, Claymore, but then Sheamus grabbed the shillelagh, Looks like he was going to hit McIntyre with the shit lately. He was like on his knees. And then McIntyre hits that Claymore while Sheamus was on his knees. And then got the three count. So yeah, Drew McIntyre defeated Sheamus tonight in the Donnie Brook match. And he is the number one contender for the Universal title. So yeah, he'll be going to Clash of the, Kick, Clash of the Castle uh, in a few weeks. So yeah, that's what happened there. But then as soon as uh, McIntyre was getting interviewed about going to Clash of the Castle and stuff to go take on either Roman or Brock. Uh, we see Theory come up and starts attacking Drew McIntyre with the Money in the Bank briefcase just laying him out. So yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that we see uh, Pat McAfee talking and then Happy Corbin comes up, uh, got, got a ticket and stuff, sitting in the crowd and stuff, just throwing popcorn and shit at Pat McAfee. So yeah, it looks like that's what he's going to be doing during the show. But yeah, it was a pretty good match to kick off uh, SmackDown between Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Like I always say, they always throw on a great match between against each other. So for this match, I'll give it four and a half stars as well. I'll give it. It was a really good match. I I enjoyed it. The fans was into it and everything. So yeah, it was really great. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then.